I'm Raw Chef Yin, uh, Raw Vegan Chef based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. But today I will be making a cook recipe because this is for Mr. Jess Guitarist. And we are trying out a book. A book. A recipe from this book. Um, Jackfruit and Blue Ginger. It is by Sasha Gill. I got this at Book Access. Um, yeah, and the original price of this book is actually 120 ringgit. But. At Book Access, it's seventy five percent off, so I saved ninety ringgit and ten cents, so it's only twenty nine ninety. Yeah. Ugh, hold on, I wanted to. Let me fix the audio. It's raining. I didn't. I usually do lives in the morning, but this evening, cause I had so much work to do, so I had to. I was like, okay, I'll just do it in the evening. <laughs> and now it's raining, so I don't think I'll be able to take good pictures. But yeah, I like how that uh, Asian recipes, I'll, I will go through. Uh, I'll show you what's inside the book later on. But right now, um, I'm going to try out this Japanese curry. Okay. All right, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and um, I'll answer you. Let me show you what the ingredients are. I'll read to you. Yeah. And let me tell you what the substitutions I'm using as well. I'll bring you guys over here so you can actually see what's going on. Okay. Ah! Alright, so it asks for 3 tablespoons of plain flour, but I'm, I'm going to be using coconut flour instead. Yeah. Hmm, I'm wondering why they become wet. Let me wipe this dry. Yeah. Okay, and then it asks for vegetable oil, but I won't be using vegetable oil because... I want to keep this oil free. One white onion. My onion is here. And then uh, one garlic clove. I don't have the garlic, so I'm not using that. Two carrots, so that's there. Two large carrots, peel and cube. One large potato, peel and cube. Um, I don't have potato, so I'm using sweet potato instead. I'm using a Japanese sweet potato, so it's here. And then two tablespoons of ketchup. I don't use ketchup, so... What I'm going to do is, I'm substituting, I had some sun-dried tomatoes, so I'm going to put that in. Oh, I think I want to, um, so I'm putting three pieces of sun-dried tomato in instead as a substitute. And then also I'm going to put in some, oh, I need to take out a date powder, hold on. I'm going to use some organic date powder as well for the ketchup. And then... Uh, I have a tomato, yeah, a tomato here, so I'm going to use that as well for the ketchup. And then it says two tablespoons Japanese curry powder, and she actually gives the recipe for the curry powder. So I'm going to make the curry powder. And then two and a half cups of vegetable stock. Um, I'm just going to use the water that I cook my beans in for that. And then one tablespoon sugar, we're going to use the date powder to replace the sugar. And, uh, let me see. And then two to three teaspoons of light soy sauce. So we're using our new soy sauce, of course. And then one Fuji apple grated. So I will grate my ap Fuji apple in between, because this is just part one. So in between part one and part two. And then one cup of edamame. So I've already cooked the edamame. And then uh, spring onions, I'll cut that up as well. And then cooked short grain rice to serve, I'm not using that. So, okay, let's make the Japanese curry powder. Yeah, so Japanese curry powder is asking for turmeric, coriander, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, cayenne pepper, ground cloves, ground nutmeg, five spice powder, and black pepper. So let's make that. Okay, so we need one. Oh, hello, Asamat. Thanks for joining. How do I make this brighter? I don't know. Hmm. 
You don't have my ring light. Hmm. Anyway, uh, one and a half tablespoon ground turmeric. Okay, so we're using the turmeric powder from Organicule. So one and a half. And then one tablespoon ground coriander. Coriander, here we go. How's everyone doing today? I feel kind of productive. I think. I should use my thing. Why did I do that? Do not follow me. Yeah. It's raining here. Is it rainy over where you are? One teaspoon ground cumin. Okay. That is cumin. So we'll put one teaspoon. Ooh, that means I need to make more Japanese curry from now on. <laughs> Since I have the curry powder. Alright, uh, ooh, maybe I can put it in like um, a dressing. Okay, half teaspoon ground cardamom. Half teaspoon. Ooh. Oh, I'll be pressing this a lot because this takes a long time. Yeah. Because even to get like a quarter teaspoon, it takes a long time. Oh guys, I actually have a raw vegan Japanese video course. So, and I also have a Japanese curry recipe there. So, if you're interested, you can check that one out. I forgot to give... Yeah, Mr. Jazz Guitarist, my link. If Mr. Jazz Guitarist is still watching, maybe he can put in the um, the link to my course. If not, you can go to rawchefyin.gumroot.com. Anyway, yeah. Okay, that's about that. Cardamom is in, and then half teaspoon ground cinnamon. Here's my cinnamon. Hi, Don. Good to see you. What was it you were talking about? Raw vegan wine, was it? Yeah. Okay, cinnamon's in and then half teaspoon ground ginger. Don, do you like Japanese curry? What do you think about Japanese curry, Don? Cost link. Uh, I saw my, um, the Japanese. Er, uh, is a course in Japanese. Yeah. Okay. Quarter teaspoon cayenne. Okay, and then quarter teaspoon ground. Close. 
Oh yeah, so you were asking whether you can order books from Book Access even if you're not in Malaysia. You can! You can! Just go to the link. I've left the link. Yeah, in the description. Quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg. Here we go. Ah, yeah! Thanks for the link on the Japanese course. Ooh, nutmeg smells good. So one quarter teaspoon nutmeg powder. And then we need a five spice powder. So this is like the Chinese Asian five spice powder. I think it's got... I know it's got, usually has Sichuan pepper in it. Mm. And then one quarter teaspoon black pepper. Amazing! Oh, interesting. Someone today was asking me, what is uh, Bangkok seasoning? Oh, Don, if you're still watching, do you know what Bangkok seasoning is? I've never heard of Bangkok seasoning. She said she went to a restaurant. She didn't tell me what restaurant she went. She just said she went to a restaurant. And then she liked it, and then she asked them what seasoning they use, and they said it's Bangkok seasoning. And I was just like, um, I've taken classes with Make Heidi, and I took classes at Chickpea Eatery in, in where? No, wait, Chickpea is not, not, um, Thailand. No, but I've done two courses in Thailand, haven't I? I did Make Heidi, and then I also did, I did one more by the one in Vicoco. Uh, anyway, I'm like, uh, we never talk about like Bangkok seasoning. We just are uh, like, use palm sugar, use chili, use garlic, use ginger, use soy sauce. Yeah, use salt. Hmm. So I thought that was a bit, I don't know. I'm wondering whether it was, I wonder whether that was an authentic Thai restaurant it was or it was just, you know, um restaurant somewhere not run by Thai. Ooh. I don't know. But yeah. Ooh, I like this um this Japanese curry blend. I have my own, but I always like trying out other people's one as well. So this is cool. Okay. Uh, all right, we've made this. Let me just double check. I have everything. Turmeric, coriander, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, cayenne pepper, cloves, nutmeg, spice pepper. Okay. All right. So we have, okay. Okay, so it says if you're making your own curry powder, simply mix together all the ingredients. This makes more than you need here, but the rest can be stored in an airtight jar in your spice drawer for several months. In a large saucepan, fry onions and garlic in oil and to translucent for five minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna use my thermal mix today. But you can just use your stove top and I'm going to cut up the, uh, the I'm putting in the sun-dried tomatoes and the onions and I'm letting the thermal mix chop up the onions for me oh you know what I'm just going to chop up the tomatoes as well everything goes in together okay Okay, 
Okay, let's chop it up. Because he wants it, um, one white onion finely diced. Yeah. Oh, I should have let this cook while I was doing putting together the curry powder. Silly me. Oh well. I'm wondering whether I want to dice it more or no need. I think no need lah. Okay. We'll just let it cookie cookie. Cookie monster. We'll put in some of this. It's just filtered water. Okay. So instead of oil, we're just using water. Hello, Xiao Xing Li. We are making Japanese curry. Vegan Japanese curry, of course. Well, this book is from Book SS. Alright, let's cook it. Four to five minutes. Let's do four minutes. Okay. And then oh, let me show you the book. Sorry, it's not very bright. Oh, now I know why I need to do things in the day. Okay, so that's the jackfruit and blue ginger. That is the author. So cool, see, they have uh, recipes from India, Thailand, Singapore, and Malaysia, Singapore, Malaysia, China, Japan, and uh, Japan. So I think I will be making a lot of recipes from here, I hope. Yeah. So when she wrote this book, she was a medical, she's from Singapore, and she was like a medical student in Oxford, I believe. Yeah. Oh, and then they do show like which is gluten free. And there's a spicy symbol as well. Country essentials. Ooh, coffee on me. Yeah, and then what equipment is needed. Basic recipes and techniques. Ooh, there's some water. Ooh, spices. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this looks good. Oh, it does and muscles. I actually have a raw vegan samosa recipe. Oh, I should start making things like that again. Fennel and parsley tokadal. Oh, I want to make this. Spinach, spinach, curry. I haven't made tandoori in a long time. Have I ever made tandoori? I'm not sure. I know I made my bread. And there's tose. I have that in my Indian course, huh? Tose. Then the cucumber raita, dal makhani. Oh, I wanted to make dal makhani as well. Yeah, so cool. So this is the Indian recipes. And then, what's after this? Oh, we can buy chicken. Oh, I want to make that as well. <laughs> See? But I think the curry, I want to make that as well. Kofta curry, I don't know whether I want to make that one. This, I don't know what this is. I should actually make something that I don't know, right? Hmm, sweet mango and kind of nasi. That should be quite easy. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look Ooh, cookie. Ooh, cardamom fudge. Ooh, cardamom fudge. And then it's highlight. Ooh. Oh, I know. Uh, I wonder whether a green papaya salad is like completely raw. Most probably. Yeah, it's all raw actually. Except for the peanuts here. 
Nice. Nice. Ooh, mushroom tomato. And Thai green curry. Ooh. Hmm. Apple fried rice. And then mango summer rolls. And the Thai batter. Yeah, so that's her. Oh, Jake food, my summer curry. See? I'm so excited about so much stuff. But it's Thai food. So, yeah. Nothing that. Put some flowers. Open up the pots. Mango sticky rice. Oh. Sticky chips. Oh, Singapore and Malaysia. Yes. Satay. Yes. Oh, uh, I have a raw vegan recipe for this. Alright. Whew. That was tiring holding it. Oof. Okay, let's go back. Um, bye 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 bye. Add carrots, potato, ketchup, and two tablespoons curry powder. Stir well and keep stir frying for another five minutes. Okay, so so I'm supposed to put one table. Oh no, two tablespoons of Japanese curry powder. Okay. So, one, uh, I'm going to put six teaspoons because one tablespoon is three teaspoons. One, two, oh, okay. <laughs> I used up quite a bit of it. All right. And then we have to put in the carrots, potato, ketchup, and two tablespoons curry powder. Okay. So, carrots going in. I'll need to put more water in. When we put in the... I think she does not say when to put in the um the stock actually. Never mind, we'll put in this is the um she uses sweet potato uh, she uses potato but I'm using sweet potato here. And I'm using Japanese sweet potato. I saw this in water and now it oxidizes. <laughs> Put in a bit of date powder to mimic the um, ketchup. Then I'll put two teaspoons. One, two. So I'm putting some red tomato. Oh, and the tomatoes in already. And. Uh, Take powder and vinegar. I'm actually just gonna put in a bit of my tepache, which should act as the acidic thing. Just a bit. Okay. So I still have a lot of that. Okay. Show. It says when to put in the vegetable stock. Do I see it? Oh yeah, it's still well keeps for it and then add stock. Oh. Okay, potatoes, carrots, ketchup, and two tablespoons curry powder. Still well and keep still frying for another five minutes. Then add stock. I'm gonna add the stock now because I don't have oil. But well, I'm not gonna add all the stock. Yet a bit. And like I said, I'm just using my bean powder. A bean powder, a bean, uh, hmm. I actually like, uh, okay, so there's one. Just put in a bit. Yeah. So we're gonna let this cook for another five minutes. Oh, 
so well. Okay. Well, it'll stir, so it will stir well. In the meantime, let's go look back at our book. So that I can't remember. Okay, we look at mango sticky rice. We start a steam pot cakes. Um, hmm. I'm wondering how we do this. Oh, we've done the satay already. Ooh, Jeffrey Briani. Ooh, like seven up. <laughs> what do you make this? You make so many things. Let's say, uh, I have a recipe for that. Popia spring rolls. Mm. Ooh, nice seven up. I wonder how it's going to see them up. I think I saw a veggie king's meat also. Ooh, hang on this chicken rice. Then let's get beer and down, there's samba. Oh, I want to eat the samba. And then there's chocolate gel. Wow, chocolate gel is good. Chia soup, polo buns. I think she used a chia soup. Oh, so she didn't try soy chung. Vegan roti chung. Although I don't ever remember us using that baguette. It's usually a hot dog bun, not a baguette. But well, maybe she took this in UK, so <laughs> I don't know. Putinus, or oh, maybe she took it in Singapore. Oh, this mochi! Um, mochi! Yeah, I have a recipe for that as well. Hey. Pandan and coconut dumplings. Oh, oh suji cake. And pandan waffles. Oh, interesting. Ultimate treat. Oh. How is waffles Malaysian? <laughs> or Singaporean? Maybe Singaporean. Coconut kaya kasi. Alright. Mummy porridge. Yeah. My dad always made me drink this. I never really liked it. <laughs> chindo. Although this chindo doesn't look. We have to have the Penang chindo. Oh, China. Ah, rice noodles. I love this. Brown rice congee with two peanuts. Oh, I love these two. Dumplings. How can people not love dumplings? And then the spring onion pancakes. Sweet and sour mushrooms. Hello, Kelly Wong. Fat the noodles. Guapau with sweet potato belly. Oh, my potato. Shanghai soup noodles. Lettuce cups, dumpling noodle, heat drop soup. Ah, oh, black bean and mushroom soup. Ah, and the tea rice. Later, later. I have a recipe for this as well. Oh. Okay. Ooh, Peking jacket. Okay, I need to make this one. You know what I'm going to do with these mango pudding, Hong Kong egg tarts. Oh, she has Hong Kong egg tarts. Oh. Maybe we should ask, I need to try this recipe. Oh, and then tell us how it goes. Yeah, and then Japan. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Bring to boil, uh, wait, stir fry for another five minutes, then add the stock. Okay. After that, bring to the boil, simmer for another 10 minutes until vegetables are tender enough to kiss with a fork. Yeah. So, 
I actually have mushrooms because that day I bought it for another recipe. So the mushrooms are not in the recipe, but I'm gonna put it in anyway. But we'll put that in later because this is still cooking. So the stock is two and a half cups. So we put in one just now. It is almost two. We'll use the water from here. Ooh, seems a lot. I thought Japanese curry is supposed to be thick. Oh, later we'll put in the flour. Okay. Pretty much have two and a half cups. Yay! Alrighty. So we're gonna cook this. So I'm gonna come back and do part two later. I need to wait, yeah. Okay, so thanks guys for watching this part one. I will be back because this needs to cook in for another 10 minutes. Wait, I need to bring it to a boil and then I'll take cook for another 10 minutes. Bring to a boil and simmer for 10 minutes until vegetables are tender. Okay, so uh, I will be back. I'll see you guys in maybe about 15 minutes. Yeah, turn on notifications so you know. Okay, see you later.